Hello YouTube, it's More Than Luck, and I'm back again with another episode of Let's Play Sly 2. In this episode, we're going to go continue doing some missions. Uh, the first of which being... Silence the Alarms with Murray. Alright, let's go. I'll head over there right now. Now, I apologize if my voice is a little off. I'm feeling slightly sick. Nothing bad, but, you know, enough to uh, possibly mess up the audio. Let's just run over there. Stealth is for wusses. You don't do stealth when you're Murray. I mean, look at this guy. I love how slow Bentley speaks to Murray as if he's like an imbecile. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evil doers feel my wrath. This is basically just punching as many people as you can. And then once uh once you start attacking the alarm, the alarm sounds obviously. Oh, I thought I fell in the water there. That could have been really bad. And so then just m continuously more and more enemies fall and uh, come to attack you until you get them destroyed. So let's finish off these guys here and move on to the next one, which may or may not exist. Oh, okay, it's. Over here. Oh, whoops, I forgot I can't get up there. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> okay, I can't make that jump either. Let's head over this side then. Now, uh, unfortunately, these episodes are coming kind of slow. I'll try it and get them as soon as possible. But as I've said before, it's just difficult because uh, to record these, I need... Oh. What else can I throw? To record these, I have to have basically the entire house. So, I'll uh, try to keep these updated weekly. But, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to bring you guys as good content as I can, uh, as soon as possible. Alright, so we got two, three done here. Let's head over to the last third. Open, oh, not set off that guard. You can actually pickpocket with, uh, you can pickpocket with Murray. It's just a little bit more difficult. You just pick him up, and then hit, usually I thought it was... I thought it was circle to shake. Whatever. I'll figure that out. I'll uh, actually I'll post a, a bit of text here on how to pickpocket with him. And that should be three of three. Now let's just go kill these guys. I do not want to fight a guard at the moment. Let's head back to the safe house and get Sly out here for uh, his two missions. Can I do it? Oh, yes. You can see we don't have the opportunity to play as Bentley yet. Which is kind of unfortunate. I like Bentley's play in this game a lot. gonna risk it. Oopsie, that's why I didn't. I would have just killed myself. Let's go do this one first. Midnight Rendezvous. How Look who it is. Constable Mila, another policewoman of <laughs> Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a <laughs> Why are you helping me out? 
I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them Sure you loose. don't. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally. Don't fall behind. Fly, hold down this is really easy. Just follow you behind her. If you come near anybody, she'll kill them too, so it doesn't really matter. She runs as fast as you do, but she jumps really slow. So that's the, the way you keep up behind her. And if you ever get lost, you've got a, a marker on her also. And she... Oh, come on, game. Sometimes it does that stuff. See, this marker is going to be very useful. She also uh, has gold dust when she runs, so you can follow her trail. Now, you have one of these in almost every location. Where you just have to run around and follow Neela. You think after the first time she'd understand that she can trust you, but apparently not. Oh, and at that time, I trade guards. That's unfortunate. A good thing about these is that it shows cool places uh, and ways you can get around here. Like, really? Again? Is that what you're gonna do to me this game? So let's play Curse, I swear. Oh man, I really don't want If you keep her waiting too long, she'll leave you behind. You can see she just tries to whip almost everything. And this is where she was leading you to, right back behind the nightclub. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use. Since she's in Interpol, can she pretty much oh, easily get a key? Or, uh, get a warrant? Oh, whatever. That job inside the disco will require my demolition scheme. If you can get this piece of fine art back to the safe house in one piece, we can sell it on ThiefNet for a ton of coins. There's random pe Yeah, I just picked up a, a piece of art. There's random pieces of art scattered around the city. Uh, pretty much in every location. If you can get them and bring them back to the safe house, then you sell them online. But if you take any damage at all, uh, they get destroyed, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's not too hard. Um, trying to run through uptown this is a terrible idea. Luckily, there's no light guards around here, as there usually are. Okay, let's sell that. And then I'll do the second, uh... Now we're at 281, all we have left is Fist of Flame. I'm gonna do the second Sly mission, and then maybe we'll have time for the, the Bentley mission, hopefully. That's actually one of my favorite missions in this level. See, you can see I just used the, uh... Just use one of Neela's techniques for getting around the city. So that those missions aren't all pointless. Just mostly pointless. Now I always thought this little low uh, little location was pretty cool. I don't know why. Let's head inside. This is actually a really cool mission. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys 
that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards, the whole point of this basically is to uh, tutorial how to do pickpocketing. There you go, turn around. Keep picking in his pocket. Sometimes you have to dig a little. Now let's see, does does this guy have other stuff too? Nope. Okay, I just jumped under here. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Wow, somehow killed him. I am amazing at this game. Now you just have to figure out a way to pickpocket all the guards without getting caught. Which actually is easier than it seems. Check one, check two. Son, Demitriana Mike with a shout out to all my nightclub samurai. Stand tall and feel beautiful. Alright, just got my camera stuck at the wall there. Give him a static. If you all spot this crack of box, bam! And there's three of six already. I totally thought that guy was going to turn around and catch me before I could uh, get him out. You going to slip back here. And let's see. I thought there was a guy a little bit... I thought there was a guy up, uh, up over there, but I guess not. This guy over here. How do I get to you? It's okay, buddy. I just want to steal everything you own. Oh, I feel like this is going to wind up poorly for me. When is this guy going to turn around? Oh, what? Did he detect it up there? Let's try to hide back here and not die. Nope. Alright, this is why I bought the... Uh, this is why I got this. L1. Now watch this. Boom. Get the hell out of here. So useful. I would have been dead if it wasn't for that. Now just wait for them to reassume their posts. Actually, what's this? Oh, knockout dive. Ironically, this is also the first uh, power you get in slide in slide one rather here's this guy and there's four of six easy peasy I'm having terrible luck so far my camera gets keep my the camera gets keep uh I can't even speak oh no the camera keeps getting stuck on random objects <laughs> That guy's behind the wall, but he, and his flashlight's shining through for some reason. Can I pick your pocket without dying? There you go. Now, let me kill you. Please let me murder you. Okay, so I was right. There is a guy over here. I wish I had the uh I wish I had the acrobatic skills of Sly. Watching static, always fun. That one's basically just a freebie. Nice work, Sly. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fan. And there's six of six. So you can see this mission is actually pretty fast. That's probably the, the worst I've ever done on that. I usually never get detected. It's the Let's Play curse. As soon as you start recording or, uh, you know, capturing, just your skills of the game just go to hell. Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. Now here's something else I think I I think is fairly funny. 
usually you don't even need to uh, to touch the fans because you can. Yeah. So you didn't even touch it. You just grab on. So that whole thing was pointless. And if you want, you can go up here, but this is useless also. I'm overriding the spotlight security gun. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. So some reason shooting out the lights caused uh, no more security, but I'll take it. Now let's go and do the, the Bentley mission. We've got some time. Yeah, we're 15 minutes in this so far. Hey Sly, you can pickpocket all the guards around the nightclub. Try to find guys carrying shiny loot in their back pocket. We can pawn the good stuff for a lot of coins back here in the same time. And I probably will do that before we make our final run, but not right now. Okay, maybe right now. It's not worth my time to kill that guy. Let's see. Oh, he's got shiny loot. I like money. Gold comb. Alright. This should be enough to get us uh, Fist of Fury or Fist of Flame or whatever it's called for Murray. Let's see. Sell this. Oh, five short. Really? Whatever, I'll get more than enough in this uh, this mission. You want to head around to the back uh, by the nightclub, so I'm gonna go this away. Now, the thing about playing with Bentley is that he's not strong enough to overpower anybody, really, uh, especially not head on. But he's got a crossbow, which if you go into his uh, Minocicom. You can shoot darts like that, which puts people to sleep. And then press triangle to drop bombs, which will kill them instantly. Which is really useful, and it really is. I find it very fun, and it's a really good way to, to break up kind of the similarity between characters. Okay, Bentley. To get past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button yeah, to drop easy a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. Run up on this guy, drop a bomb there. There, go backwards. Oh, 399, of course. Hey, Bentley, how you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bomb all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk. Now I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. It's funny how absolutely nervous he is. I'm pretty sure you need to bomb these three times each, so... Two, three... Oh, jeez. Barely jumped out of the way in time. And sustain no damage. All right. Very nice. Oh, I thought that was a headshot. Ready for this? You're done. Maybe it's just one time each time, I guess. Because I only hit it two times there. Oh, I want these coins. There we go. Now I have enough. Awesome. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize he had to check it out. Ready for this? Ready for this sick shot? No scope. Oh, maybe. No, no, I need to get out of here. Can I hit him? There we go. Just for that, I'm taking everything you own. Four coins. Disappointing. All right, let me try to no scope this guy. Oh no, I scoped. Oh, please shoot again. Oh, shoot one more time. There we go. Come on. 
I'm not playing this as safe as I should be. I'm really going uh, all out offensively. Now, since this uh, since this is held on by just one post now, you think it would have fallen, but who am I to question the physics of Sly Cooper? Who knows, maybe in their world, physics works way differently. And up there you can see it's uh, Dimitri's office. You got these cages up here, which uh, you might know what those are for. You might not, depending on your age. And you can actually see uh, the painting we put in there, if you get close enough. I see how far, um, not very far at all. I'm going to try to get back to the entrance before it blew up. Yeah, so that disco ball apparently weighed like 2,000 pounds or something. Alrighty. Time for the operation. Okay, fellas. The dominoes are all in place. Time to operation pull Thunder Peak. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot. You'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. These are really, really fun. If my calculations Operations are correct, I mean. the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. I like that last part. Sounds like a solid plan. Alright, well, I'm going to buy, uh... There we go. Fist of Flame bought. Okay. Well, then, next time on Let's Play Sly Cooper... We are going to do Operation Thunderbeak and hopefully steal back the tail feathers. See you guys then.